Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm doing another one of my videos, my build videos. Uh, it's an update to my mag blade, which I love so much. Um, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to do this starting off with a parse. Some great comments that people have given me. Can we see you parse? And although I'm not the best parser, I do pretty good. So you can kind of get at least a feel of what I'm trying to do when I'm parsing and the numbers that I'm able to get. And if you're a better parser, you probably get you know, bigger numbers than I do. Um, I usually get around with this new build, with the, the new update, I'm getting around 75, 76 for an average uh, KTPS on a, uh, on a trial dummy. So let's start off with the parse today and then I'll go through some of the changes I've made since the update, which I've really been enjoying. And one of the things you'll probably see in this, uh, why I love this new update so much, is that I miss things. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. I almost attacked him. That's not good. All right. Ooh, that was far the way. Uh, uh, it's always terrible when you're at a friend's house. It's my friend Robin's place, and I can't replace the uh, trial dummies, so I'd have to, you know, to get a full parse, I'd have to burn it all the way down and then start from scratch again. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I'll, I'll take my hands off the keyboard for a second. Anyway, <laughs> the great thing I love about how uh, this is set up now, especially with the Merciless Resolve, and you'll see a few dots that I have for an add-on that are going to pop up here. Um, and actually, I can put those on to start. So if I do this, there's a lot of times people when they parse, they'll have the, the dots all ready to go. Um, for that and um, what you now have is that when this counter is finished or, or, or when you're out of combat you actually hold on to your five dots or however many dots that you've that you've you know your, your stacks for merciless resolve to go off and that's um, that's really really nice it's a nice kind of convenience thing uh, I've noticed it a lot like when I do a VMA where it does, you know, a veteran maelstrom arena that they don't reset and shut off. So you see there, it's, it's, it's now off. I, to be able to get the benefits from this, I'd have to restart it again. And also the great thing is that I also get a little bit of a damage buff when I haven't, you know, used the, uh, the Merciless Resolve bow. Uh, thing so you might see uh, that I do make some you know a little bit of mistakes that I hold on to this merciless resolve a little bit too long uh, that's kind of just in my parse uh, to be absolutely honest that's, that's kind of how I do things and the great thing is that I'll still do some really good damage even though I haven't fired this off I have seen some people that have done builds that uh, when they um, that they purposely don't even use it just to see the buff of the um, um, uh, that Merciless Resolve has now because of the latest update. So, all right, enough talking for me. Let's go do a parse. Let's see how I do. All right, I'm always forgetting something. Let me make sure, okay, I've got the right um, I've got the right gear. I got everything is up there. I've got the right parse food. I've got the right spell pods. I've got everything's all set. Everything's there. I haven't parsed in like a week, so I might be roasty. We'll see. And I kind of get, make sure I get good distance, but not too close. All right, let's give this a shot, shall we? Here we go. So I start off with. Boom.
like bar swapping a lot. So that's probably my biggest drawback a lot of the times here is that I don't bar swap back and forth. Enough. So if you're a really good bar swapper, then you'll probably get much more out of this land. Seven, okay. Okay, a little later. All right, I gotta pay attention to my thing now. Now I'm at 32. All right, because when we get 25, this is when we start going to town. I do. Woo, 76. There we go. Woo! Good job, Maddie. Woohoohoo. There we go. 76.2. So, yeah. So, like I said, I made, you can see it, I was kind of talking through it. I made a bunch of mistakes as I went on through. So, uh, so yeah. So, let's explain what I'm doing. All right. Let's go uh, set updates that I've been doing. Um, I actually am running the Ma the Infernal. All right, the heavy and the medium. I still have my perfected false gods. Uh, some people will do like Sororia or they'll do um, even Mother Sorrow in here and stuff. I've, I have the perfected false gods and you see with me, it's a slight balance between having enough resources and so this just makes me a little bit more comfortable. So I probably lose a certain percentage of damage just from that. Then I'm using Medusa now. So I've got Medusa all set up. Uh, if you don't know about Medusa, Medusa gives you the minor force um, that's up all times in there. Um, I'm only using it on the front bar. You can you know, play around with doing some different things with having it, you know, because it is a heavy set, messing around with the heavy sets and putting things as a life set, it's too complicated for me. And um, so at most I can have the Medusa up, uh, the minor force up about 75% of the time, 
let me uh, let me look at my my stuff here. How how much was that minor for seventy percent of the time? Which for some people would be like, oh, that's horrible. I hate, I want to have it, you know the goal is one hundred percent of the time. That's actually really good for me because I I don't know if you're like me. I'm horrible at using channeled acceleration. Uh, like again, I said, I've been so excited about this update 27 because it matches a lot of my gameplay and the, uh, having the, not having to use channel acceleration anymore is just wonderful because that number would be like in the fifties, maybe when I had channel acceleration, I wouldn't get it off very much, uh, at all. So that Medusa takes care of that for me. And then I have the Inferno, yeah, I use the Inferno staff, and I've got the Maelstrom Perfected Inferno. As far as traits and the enchantments, it's all Magicka on the body pieces. It's all Divines on the body pieces for the trait. I have Bloodthirsty, and I have Spell Damage Enchantment on all the jewelry. The... I have um, the weapon enchant, flame weapon, fiery weapon enchantment uh, with infused. And then the maelstrom, I have the increased weapon damage and spell damage with the infused. So that's my setup of the gear. I used for food, of course, good parsing food. It's the ghastly eyeball. When I'm doing stuff, um, you know, in, in trials and stuff, I'm using the Artem. Uh, pickled fish bowl that's the one that i use if i'm kind of just out in the world i use the um the solitude uh salmon millet soup in there because it actually does some really good stuff it only lasts for an hour though so um the spell pots that i was using i was using the essence of spell power uh which we've talked about that in the past so we've got that all right the Skills that I use, I use on the front bar, I use Twisting Path. I use Elemental Weapon. Uh, when I'm on my own um, and I'm not parsing, I switch that out for Swallow Soul because it's getting the health back. But for parsing, I have Elemental Weapon, then Merciless Resolve, then the Impale, which you saw at the end. It really increases your DPS at the end as a, uh, as a Mag Blade especially when you're down below 25%. And then I just put inner light on here. A lot of people put different things and it could be a flex spot or something like that. Um, for me, it's one of those things that I'm always good through, to be honest, good through like four spells or skills. When I get to the fifth one, that one's always a little tough for me. So like when I had channel acceleration, it was a little rough. Uh, inca incapacitating strikes, I use that one at the, uh, and I, I use this especially at the end because I know I'm not going to get enough ultimate generation for my other ultimate on my back bar so i was using this at the end to give myself a little more damage back bar is unstable wall of fire the mystic orb the siphoning attacks and then the dark shade which is a new one for me and if uh, it's this is probably one of the big differences from the build that i had previously I, I use this. I used to have channel acceleration here. So now I'm able to put in the dark shade, still have my inner light, and still feel very, very comfortable with it. I am a Khajiit. A uh, very well-dressed Khajiit. I love the Bard outfit, by the way. And orange is my favorite color. Uh, I go all Magicka. I am using the Mundus the Shadow for the crit. My maximum Magicka uh, right now is, uh, with, of course, the Ghastly Eyeball, is 34, 12, and 11K. My spell damage is 1,900. That, of course, goes up when I use my back bar to give me the buff. Uh, the spell crit is at 68%, and my back bar is at 54. So because I have that, that's why I use Shadow. It's kind of the, uh, the thought process for people that if you're below 50%, you should get the Thief. If you're above 50%, you should go with the Shadow. So that's why I'm going with the Shadow. 
let's see, magical recovery, that stuff changes you whatever, whatever food I'm using in the situation. But yeah, so that's the stats for that. The rotation that I'm using, all right, I always feel <laughs> not embarrassed by it or something like that, but I do my best rotation. I said I, I, I try my best uh, with my rotation when I do things. I don't want to ruin... Ah. She's got another an one. Ancient Daedric artifact to oh my gosh, you scared me, How Titans. All right, so my rotation to begin with, um, if I have my ulti all the way up, which it isn't right now, my rotation is is that I do a prep of the of Merciless Resolve. So my prep is Merciless Resolve prep, flip to the back bar, I get my siphoning, and I get my shadow up. I love this. Again, I loved update 27. Update now that um, the shadow does not automatically attack. And oh my gosh, that's so wonderful for me, who always had a problem prepping him beforehand and getting him involved uh, at the timing that I wanted to. So that works out so great. So, again, so I would go prep. Oh no, it went off. Sorry. <laughs> prep. Then I go siphon. Then I go that. Then I would drop the ulti. And then I start going light attack, wall, light attack, ball, flip, light attack, uh, twisting path, and then light attack, ele uh, elemental weapon. Until that filled up, if it fills up all the way, so I have all the stacks of my merciless resolve, then what I would do is that I would fire it off, boom, and then refresh it if I needed to. When I start to see the unstable wall, when I flip, because I have the add-on that tells me, when I see this get down to about two seconds, that's my cue to put Twisting Path back on, flip, and then light attack wall, light attack ball, and do it again. The, what I do is that I actually, even though the... Um, the dark shade is not all the way down yet when I get to that point. I will cast it again so that each time I come back to my back bar, I'm actually either doing a siphoning attack or I'm doing a dark shade. So, again, prep it. Alright. Prep it. Prep it. Got my stuff in here. Pretend I hit my ulti. And then, and then I hit my, uh, my potion, and then it's light attack wall, light attack this, switch, twisty path, fire that off. Now I'm starting to build it back up, but I'm looking at my fire. It's now at two, I do twisting path, switch to that back bar, and then go. So that's how I, that's how I do it. So... Let me do a little bit of a, a speed up. I'll let this cool down for a second. There it is. Right. Oh, my ulti's almost up. Let's do it with the ulti so you can see. And I will narrate as I do it. You calm down. Gosh, the, the matter of times that I've that I've had another thing up while I try to start parsing. Oh my gosh! All right. So I find my position. The position that I, I do that is because of the Mystic Orb. I want to get as much out of it as I can, and that's also why I'm hitting it from the side. It gives you a little bit extra. You know, if it gives you one more extra tick, then that's great. So I try to try to balance it where it feels good there. So I go. Merciless, flip, that, do my shadow, dump it, there we go, boom, boom, flip to the front bar, did you go and attack over there, shadow, oh my gosh, oh. 
the shadow. Anyway, I love that. Buddy, what are you doing? Shadow, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a heavy attack over here so that you go to the right place. Will you go over there now? Wonderful. I like this. Uh, this is how it is like to parse. <laughs> is that when, um, you know, you'll see these wonderful parses on, on, on beautiful videos and edits and stuff, and, and I don't know how to edit videos too well. And so, but uh, uh, setting up and getting your parse ready and getting it right and not making any mistakes, oh, happens to me all the time. It happens to everybody all the time. So. And actually... I won't take the two bombs to get my heavy attack back up. Get my ult back up. See, this is where I need my trumpet to play some interlude music. Well, people said they wanted a parse video. This is how parse videos go for me. <laughs> Love it. All right. Yeah, I always forget about that. If I, if I do heavy attacks to build it up. Just like any pet, it'll go after the last thing that I was heavy attacking. Oh, well. All right. So, here we go. So, get my distance. Oh, yeah, always make sure to check your things to make sure that your enchantments are up on your weapons. All right. Here we go. So, getting that distance, and I'm going prep, merciless resolve, prep siphon, prep the shadow, and then boom. Front side, pop that off. Boom. Two. So I'm really looking at. I think I can get this on and get a flip. And I'm going to do my shadow again. I'll hold on to those. And now I've got my sight ready to go. So build that up. Maybe get some shards up there. Fire that off again. Those. All that's all late. All of my things and all of my stuff. I just get all the things. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you do it. And a lot of practice. You see, even in my rotation, I don't, I don't get it stellar. But a, a lot of practice with the rotations. Actually, that, that first one, the 76 that we did, was actually very good. I really liked that parse. Uh, let's see, was it 769 was my highest? Eh. Where is it? I'll still keep it. It's a good one to keep. There we go. All right, um, let's see. Other things that I can tell you about it uh, that are different, that I switched up. Do, do, do. Let's see. Of course, the one great thing when you're if you're using elemental weapon, uh, one of the reasons to get it too is that you also get um, the little spell orbs. Um, when casting a, a Citrica order ability while you're in combat, you generate a spell charge, and when it reaches five spell charges, it'll launch a spell orb uh, to the closest enemy, dealing uh, forty nine oh nine magic damage. Or physical damage. So, uh, yeah, so a little bit of extra damage by using it. So that's why with parsing, I use that instead of using my, um, the, um, was it my, oops, my Swallow Soul. So, let's see. All the racial passives, of course, you use. Um, you, all the passives and all the class stuff you use. Dun, 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 dun. Um, all the ones for the destruction staff. 
for the armor. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I've got everything in there. Uh, let's see, nothing that's really going to, that's different from what we've been doing in the um, uh, before. Undaunted, I make sure I have all the passes in the Undaunted. That's all the same. Uh, let's see. And then let's also finally look at, I don't think I've changed it too much from before. My Thermaturge is at 48. I've got Master Arms at 61. Staff Expert at 16. I like that. Um, uh, gets you the Butcher. I use uh, Elemental Expert 64. Elf Form 56. And I use 25 Spell Erosion. I kind of go middle of the road with Spell Erosion because if I do something like VMA, I want a little extra. Uh, if I'm in a trial, I don't really need it. Um, so I've, I've put like, you know, 25. I've seen people put up as high as into the 30s and as low as into the teens. So I kind of cut the difference in there. And then, of course, the Shad, all these other ones are for whatever specific situation you might need um, in a, um, uh, a dungeon or a trial. I always make sure I put a little bit in the quick recovery when I'm out in the world. Increase the healing received by um, 3%. That just gives me a little bit extra when I'm, you know, doing VMA or out in the world and I'm using Swallow Soul. It gives me a little bit of health back. So. I think that's it. I think that's everything that is new from what has been going on with the Magblade for me. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the parsing. I love parsing. Parsing is just kind of fun. Uh, sometimes it's very therapeutic. You just got to sit there and get better at your light weaving and work on it. Um, for me, like I said, I'm in the, you know, 76 and, and, and trying to get to the, I don't think I did get 77. Did I ever get 77 on the parses? Where's the ones that I saved? 76, 9. No. So I think probably my, my goal would be to try to get up to a consistent 77 with practicing and then, you know, try my best if I can start doing better and better and Maybe get an 80 parts, which I've never, you know, been able to do before. So, uh, so that'd be a, a fun little goal for myself. So I, I always love the goal of, of doing something with the parsing. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope it was informative. And I hope you guys try out the Mag Blade. If you have any questions about the Mag Blade, and, and like I said up front, this is kind of my version of it i know there's uh, other things and other you know other skills that you could put and and other ways of of doing some um uh animation canceling and and uh flipping bars and stuff for me who's never been the best at that uh to that this is kind of the rotation i'm able to do and um uh, it's been yielding the the best results for me uh so far so i know um you know 76 you know 77 is in the highest out there but it's, it's still pretty darn good so um all right thank you so much for watching and sorry it's been a, a few weeks since the last video i'm hoping to 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 make a couple because i've updated a, a few of my builds um so uh I'll, I'll try to get some out a little bit more regularity so thank you everybody have a wonderful rest of your day bye